Hi my darlings, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name's Chrissy. I'm so pleased you could stop by. I would love it if you would subscribe before you leave to my OGs. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on so YouTube can tell you every time I upload a video. Now today I'm going to be creating this pink look using a palette from Revolution. It's from the Precious Stones collection and it is the Ruby palette. If you'd like to know where we got the look, please continue to watch. My darlings, today I'm going to be playing with the Precious Stone Collection and we're going to be using the Ruby palettes. This is what she looks like inside. Oh, you're going to have to excuse me because it's really refre reflective, this base is. But that's what she looks like. Now, these are the swatches because I'm all organised. I've done them. So we've got all of the little pans here. It's actually swatched a little bit patchy those are the colours of the little pans and then these are the colours of the larger pans so not the best swatching i've ever done but we're gonna have a look what it looks like on the eyes now i'm gonna go with this one here just with a very very light hand uh, it's called be mine just to give us a base colour and just a nice smooth surface to start with. I'm going to mix it as well with the other peachy colour which is called Classy. These will be a nice one to blend out, out with as well. This one's called Date Night. It's sort of that nice raspberry colour that I like. So I'm just going to use this pencil brush just to mark down where I want to. Have we put our decorations up? Let me know down in the comment section whether you one of these that can't wait to put them up or whether you're one of the last minute ones who just does it like sort of Christmas Eve or type of thing or that last few days before Christmas. I'm gonna be putting mine up soon. Put the mother-in-law, well, started the mother-in-laws off last weekend just to add a little bit of color to the, uh, the front room. And um, yeah, I think I'm gonna be doing mine soon. And while I'm here, would you like to see me do it? Would you like to join me while I'm pottering around in my living room? Please, I know I look mad. I know. It's all right. You want to see me in the morning? Okay, I'm just going to fill in where I've actually put this outline now. This isn't as dark as I thought. I thought this was going to be like really, really brightly pigmented. I can't actually remember whether I used this last year or not. This is from last year's Christmas collection. So it should be still available. But if we're doing throwbacks, we've got to do Christmas throwbacks now, haven't we? what are we all doing for Christmas are we going to families obviously we are all limited to how many people we can have in the house or households of what is it three households I think together but what are you all doing are you going to your parents your you know your children's house are you stopping at home having a quiet sort of little intimate one Or are you one of these people that just don't, don't bother? This year's been such a washout, I think we sort of need something. Right, I've sort of mapped out where I want this to be. Oh, I am going to fade it out slightly, but I will have to put some more on because these shades are very, very subtle. Obviously in the pan they look amazing, but they're it's a different matter when you were uh, when you started adding them um so i'm gonna take princess and i'll add it with a little bit of classy as well and i'll 
just stretch it out very very gently here so it's a lot paler I could do with the black in this one definitely I think it'll look different when I've put my eyebrows on and and all that so right I'm just I'm gonna just keep on softening this up a little bit I'm gonna have to add this one here which is called Dreamy, either Dreamy or Flush. Let me just have a look, because these are the two darker shades. What I think I might do is, I might actually take a little bit of my eyeliner run it across and then I can smudge it back because that's not dark enough from here and I'm going to smudge that out I'm going to need to build these colours up so much it looks really bright under my lights but when I'm looking at it in the mirror it's not the same it's too, so I'm going to be taking these two here you know this is where it all takes shape then as soon as you get your eyebrows on it don't look so bad Oh, that's building up nicely. Hmm. Everything just seems very, very tame just lately. I don't know whether there's more sort of taste in colours is changing or whether they've sort of revolution of progress so much within the 12 months I'm expecting a lot more of the older palettes Or are these just meant to be like a topper? Could well be. I think I'm going to take, I'm tempted to use this, but I think we've got too much pink. So I think I'm going to take this one here, just on the sides here. And it's called Love, as in L-U-V. And this is more of a foily shade. Now that is a really, really pretty shade as well. I'm going to just drag this right across actually. You won't be able to tell. So, so it'll be a little bit darker here where the, the eyeliner I dragged out. And then I'm going to take another little bit of that first shade, which was called Admira. And I'm just going to sort of just drag it just slightly over that line and just play with that until, until the line sort of disappears or sort of it looks like one's fading into the other.
Shall we just open pride at that level? Because that is going to be... Mm, it ain't too bad. You know what? It's going to do. It's going to be enough. Right. Bit of mascara. My darlings, I'm going to pop off camera, do my base, come back and we'll go back to the palette. So give us two seconds. Mm, let's have a little look at what we're going to do. I think I'm going to introduce this this one here. It's pretty much the colour of my nails. Um, just to take a little bit of pink down so we haven't we, we don't look like we've been crying all night because, well, nobody's worth that, are they? What you reckon, guys? So I'm just going to run this as close as I possibly can without poking myself in the eye, as I usually do. I will say it is a real shame that you've not got a real dark colour in here, because I think if you if they'd have done like a dark brown or a black, I think this palette would have been so so much better. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, I love it. I to just think it's sort of, it'd be really taking it up there if it had got like a darker colour. I'll go with this one as well, which was Princess. Just a little bit of that though. Oh! Mm. My hubby, bless him. Do you get this? Do you get the hubby um, actually texting you from up the shed? Yeah, I know. I know where you're coming from. He could actually shout and I'd hear him quicker. But he you knows I'm filming, so. My highlight of what I use, which is the sleek. As you know, I love me a little bit of a sleek highlighter. I'll just merge that in with what I've got already then. I love this highlighter, love it. We'll go for Peaches and Cream from High Art Revolution. And let's find me a lipstick, which will be a pink one. I usually use a rose coloured one. I don't need no more sparkle because I've got plenty on my eyes. So it's just going to be just a flat matte. My darlings, that's my finished look for today. I really hope you've enjoyed watching my video. If you have, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. That would be amazing. And if you haven't already and you do like the look of my channel, please consider subscribing. I will be back on the weekend. So please take care of yourselves and stay safe. I love you loads. Bye.